I'm going to try and put into words exactly how I feel about Harry Styles wearing a dress. You ready? I could not give less of a fuck. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't change my day. It's not like my coffee machine suddenly stopped working this morning in protest of Harry Styles bending the gender norms. I wouldn't have even known about it if it wasn't for people like Ben Shapiro moaning on Twitter, ironically, like a little fucking girl. Candace Owens was someone who got quite pissed off at the situation. Candace Owens is slamming Harry Styles for wearing a dress in Vogue and is renewing her calls to bring back Manly Men Days. She said that men should look like men, whatever that means. I mean, just by following that logic, Candice, that means that women should look like women. And to be honest, you're letting your side down. She's just pissed off that Harry Styles pulls off a dress better than she does. She spends her entire life wearing pantsuits, looking like Sid from Ice Age going to a fucking job interview. Men should be masculine and manly. Why? He's a fucking singer. Being manly is not in his job description. I could kind of understand that if you were trapped in a burning building and a load of firemen turned up to rescue you and they were all wearing prom dresses, it wouldn't exactly fill you with confidence. But he's a fucking singer. Harry Styles is a performer. He's allowed to dress in weird shit. All the best performers do. David Bowie, Elton John, Mick Jagger, Freddie Mercury. And that's what makes him so good. Dressing up in weird crap was part of what made David Bowie so great. Can you imagine if you went to a David Bowie concert and he came out dressed like a fucking central heating engineer? <laughs> Zero flair whatsoever, but he looked really manly. Is that what you want, Candace Owens? You want Ziggy Stardust dressed like he works at British Gas? If you haven't seen it, by the way, here's the picture that is on the front cover of Vogue magazine. It's Harry Styles on the edge of a cliff. His top half is in a suit. His bottom half is in a dress. He kind of looks like he's doing a one-man rendition of Wuthering Heights, to be honest with you. <laughs> in fact, if anything, after seeing this, I want to see Harry Styles in a dress more. I want to see him at Asda doing the big shop in a ball gown. Get Harry Styles doing the big shop at a 24-hour Asda at like 3 a.m. Just to fuck with the people that are there at that time. Because they'd never be able to tell that story to anyone. Oh, I saw Harry Styles doing the big shop at 3 a.m. dressed in a ball gown. Yeah, you need to stop smoking weed, mate. That's what you need to fucking do. Since I'm trending, I'd like to clarify what I meant when I said bring back manly men. I meant bring back manly men. Terms like toxic masculinity were created by toxic females. Real women don't do fake feminism, she continued. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I mean, fair play to Candace Owens. It's one thing to be completely fucking mental, but it's another thing entirely to stick with it in the same passionate way that she does. She also took to Instagram to continue firing shots at the watermelon sugar singer. Do you think anywhere in Russia, or China, or anywhere in the East, men are wearing dresses and heels? Just a serious question. If you don't understand that all of this is just a part of a bigger plan to take down the West, um, I can't help you. Yeah, I'm sure that's what President Putin's doing over in Russia. He's planning on invading the West, but not with the cyber hackers that he has at his disposal, not with the massive army of millions of people, not with the nuclear weapons. No, 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 no. He's going to send us samples of fucking Mac products through the post and hope that we're going to be caught off guard doing our fucking foundation while he invades. Shut the fuck up. Ah. Oh.